Hi everyone, Dave from Daily Tech TV here, and I've got a question from Ashley Brooks 91 who asks, would you recommend an SSD for the MacBook Pro? Well, SSD stands for Solid State Drive, and there's a big difference between a normal hard drive and a solid state drive. Normal hard drive has got platters and a head that reads off of those platters. Solid state drive is made up of sort of flash memory and it means that there are no moving parts in the solid state drive. Now that results in quite a few things. One is less power consumption. The other thing is less noise. And the other thing is if you do sort of knock it or uh, jolt your MacBook Pro whilst it's in use, you've got a lot less risk of any damage coming to the device because there's no moving parts. And then the final one is obviously a massive, and I mean really big, speed increase. If you put an SSD into your MacBook Pro, you'll get super fast startup times. Your applications will launch so much quicker and your system will seem transformed. Now the price of SSDs is actually coming down quite considerably. You can pick up a 120 gigabyte SSD for under £100 quite easily nowadays. And if you want a 240 gigabyte SSD, then you're probably looking at about £230, round about that sort of mark. So it is a big investment, but it will transform your system. So you've asked, would I recommend one? Well, yes, certainly I would. I actually use an SSD in my Mac Pro, which is a desktop machine, and it's transformed the way that it works. And obviously my MacBook Air has got a uh, flash memory inside it, similar to a solid state drive. Uh, so that performs brilliantly as well. And I have put solid state drives into my MacBook Pros before. I've, I've in fact got videos on how to do this and how to upgrade them on the Geekanoids channel. So if you check out the Geekanoids channel, put in MacBook Pro upgrade or MacBook Pro SSD, and you can watch some videos about how I achieved this and also the performance gains as well. So brilliant question. Thanks very much for leaving me that question. If you've got any new ones, then leave them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them in a future video. Until then, enjoy your technology and I will see you all in the next one.